is episode 3 we are continuing building our first table using service now uh, basically we are using studio to create our table so earlier we were stop over here after we create our, uh, our our after create our first table by extending a task table once we extend we have a number of columns that came directly from the service now task table now let's go ahead and add a new column just click right here under new so it will create for us then what are the things we are getting when we create a column so we'll have the table name automatically and then we can select the type what kind of uh, column is there so if i click over here it will give us like what kind of the type is all right let's give it a name so it's a invalid so we need to put on the exact requirement so right here it can be a true 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 or false or is it do that or a data structure or is it a password so we need to select what the type of column it will be so we mark it we 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 choose the true and false type and we're gonna give the the, the column level so basically the column level is a user friendly you can give it whatever name it is let's say i'll say user user sex true or false okay then it's gonna be the user sex the column name it will automatically create it user underscore sex then the maximum length right here is your true or false so uh, it can be t or false so we can give it a maximum length of t or false so length will be one all right the functional field read only if i want to make read only i can click right here and the display if i want to have a display i can click over there perfect the choice of list if i want to have a choice of list i will select over here so the choice of list will be is it a drop down without menu or drop down with none or suggestion i'll select drop down with uh, drop down without none and then all right i'm gonna go ahead and save this one this is directly on the data entry uh, dictionary we are creating a new perfect all right let's go ahead and see this is the default value so the default value i will select true which is uh is your true or false i'll put the default value of true all right so i'm gonna create a choice list because i'm saying right here a drop down without none so i'll select a i'll create a choice and then i'll see create a choice say previously unsaved edits Okay, because right here I have a true. I'm gonna update this one first before I uh, continue to add a choice list. Now I can go ahead and add a choice list. So my choice list will be true all force. Mm, right. So under the under the access control for this column i can create a new access control but right here i do not have any access control so under choice i will need to create a new so you have two options either by clicking right here new or you can just uh, insert a new row over here let's go ahead and say new it will create a new for us so the element here is the element which is the, the user sex and the language is english and the level will be just t for true and then the value again we will give it t all right dependent value hint we don't need any hint i will select submit all right and then i'm gonna create a new column which is for false i'll select f and the value is also f and submit it perfect all right let's go come back here to our main table and refresh it refresh or reload perfect now let's go ahead and open the table here 
under the table we will have a number of columns here again so if I go ahead and find my column which is the one I created uh, user all right all the to all right tables only the, the dictionary so that is the way we can create a table column for a new table or for the new table we can create that way our table column so if i configure and form design and see how many columns do i have so here is a level here is a name it is extensibility so i have the extensibility live feed all right user role can read can create these all are the tables that I have. Perfect. All right, guys. So next time we will continue creating our table, building our table from where we stop until we see each other in the next episode. Until then, have a great day.